Hello and welcome to Ignite. It's so good to know that you're watching on the other side and I believe that God has a very special word for you and that you'll be greatly blessed today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to read to you the words of the Lord Jesus in the book of John chapter 9 verse 4. Very importantly, I want you to pay attention to these words. Very powerful words. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. I read that again. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Wow, this is very, very profound. The Lord Jesus is saying, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Now, two things are very important here. The first thing is the fact that I must work the works of him that sent me. That tells you that You've been called out for a purpose and God has given you an assignment, a task that must be accomplished and you've got to know it and accomplish it. And the second thing is, it says while it is day. You know, it's really amazing that the first thing talks about the assignment, the second thing talks about the time. That tells you that the assignment that God has given to you is very important, but more so that time has been attached to your assignment. That's a very, very big thing you've got to consider. Because we don't have all the time here on earth. Yes, we've got an eternal life, but as far as the earth is concerned, we don't have all the time here. And if you look at the, Lord, the life of the Lord Jesus Christ, our perfect example, you discover that he lived his life with a sense of urgency. He knew that he had been called for something. He knew that he came to the earth for a purpose. And he was so focused on that assignment, knowing that he didn't have all the time on earth. Now, this is very, very important. If the Lord Jesus Christ knew that he didn't have all the time and he worked in such a manner, that is already telling us that we've got to follow suit. We've got to do as he did. Because it's very important we understand. You see, a lot of people, sometimes we, so at, 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 at some point, you, you look at people, you discover that we live, people live their lives as though they have all the time on earth. Now, it's very important you understand this. We don't have all the time on earth. You see, one thing you must always set ahead of you in, in focus, in view every single day, is that one day you're going to be standing before the one who has called, who has brought you into this earth, who allowed you to come into this earth. And you're going to give account, the scripture says, to him, everything. You're going to give account to him about everything that you've done on earth. And that should matter so, so much to you. Because that is the real reason why we must get to work. That is the reason why we must be focused on the assignment that he has called us to do. God has not called anyone on earth to just waste time. God has given everyone an assignment. And the first thing you do is to discover the assignment. The second thing you do is to fulfill the assignment. And so the Lord Jesus says, I must walk the works of he that sent me while it is day. Because we don't have all the time. Because the night comes when no man can work. Now, when do you go to work? You go to work in the daytime. You go to school in the daytime because that's actually the moment of search. But once it starts getting dark, you don't go to school in the night. Because... Uh, or you don't go to work in the night because it's already dark, except those who are on night shift, of course. But the, the regular moments for work is in the daytime. And the Lord Jesus says the hour is coming, the night is coming. Now that gets my attention, that the hour is coming. I mean, the night is coming. The night is coming. The night is coming. It's like an alarm clock reminding you, hey, come on, guys, the night is coming. You've got to do whatever you've got to do on time. Because the time is at hand. The, the time is short. Now we know that the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is, uh, is at hand and it's very important we prepare for that. But you see, there's what is called the time of life. The time of your life, the time of my life, the lease of time that God has actually given to us here on earth. And it's important. We don't, we don't know except the Lord reveals it to you, but we, nobody knows really when we're going to be leaving the earth. But that's really not, should, should, that shouldn't really be our focus. What should be our focus is how am I maximizing every single day? Because sometimes we think about, well, before I die, I was fulfilling my assignment. But how about, how, how, how is that going to work? It's going to have to be an active uh, carrying out of your responsibility on a daily basis. You see, one day adds up to another day and another day. And before you know, we'll have 365 or 366 uh, days that make up a year. And so every day must be important. We must live every day with the consciousness of the fact that we've got an assignment, a task from heaven that must be fulfilled. And the Lord Jesus is giving us a pattern here. He says, I must work the works of he that sent me while it is day. We must do what we've got to do when we've got to do it. That's what he's saying in essence. And so I want to encourage you. What is that assignment that God has given to you? For some of you, possibly you've not discovered what God has called you to do. But it's important that you discover it. Just like Paul said to Archippus in the book of Colossians chapter 4, I believe verse 17. He says, 
see to it that you 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 you, you accomplish the ministry, you fulfill the ministry that the Lord has given to you, the ministry that you receive from the Lord. And you might say, Well, I'm not a minister. Well, every God, everyone has got an assignment. Everyone that is on earth has got an assignment. God saw a need, and that's why you were created. And so it's very important you understand that someone I was in a service sometime, and, and, and the man of God really made a statement that really shocked me. I believe the Lord really wanted me to hear that. He said the word M-A-N, which stands for man, you know, actually has very, very life, it's, it's a kind of, it's very, very significant in the life of every man. That M stands for the morning, A stands for afternoon, and N stands for night. And I was so shocked when he said that. He said that the, the, the M is the morning season of life. Those moments when you're a child, you don't have much responsibility, those early days. He said, but the A stands for afternoon. That's the real busy time of the day, afternoon, you know, the busy moments of the day. And that stands for the real time of activity. Whatever is not done at that time, most likely will never be done in that day. In that day. And the, the end stands for the night. That's when you might want to get a job done, but you just can't because it's night. As I, I pray for you today that by the Spirit of God, the Lord will cause your eyes to be open, that you realize your season of life. You won't realize that time is important to God and you don't have all the time here on earth and use every single day in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that God will strengthen you and bring you to that consciousness. And just like the psalmist in the book of Psalm chapter 90, it says, teach us to number our days that we might apply our hearts unto wisdom. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, just like the psalmist prayed, I pray the same today for myself and for everyone who is watching. Teach us, Lord, to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom. Thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and thanks for joining us once again today. I believe you're going to be blessed with a new other episode and God will richly strengthen you in your walk with him. Amen.